Pilgrims trekking down slippery hill slopes held by those in uniform. Through the day, rescue operations continued in full swing. Overturned trucks, unrelenting downpour, broken road routes, stranded people and a mounting death toll. A breakdown in communication links has meant that the actual toll figure continues to fluctuate with the Home Ministry saying it is likely to rise. The worst affected districts of the Uttarakhand are Rudraprayag, Dehradun, Almora, Uttarkashi and Chamoli. According to the authorities, Pithoragarh district in the Kumau region remains completely cut off with helicopters unable to land. Stranded pilgrims apart, thousands of homes and roads have been swept away. The Border Roads Organization responsible for road repairs has prioritized repairs of roads where a large number of pilgrims are stranded. According to an estimate by an NGO, over 450 national highway and connecting roads have been damaged or closed due to the disaster. We are not facing much problem uh, from the weather but the roads and the terrain is very difficult. Uh, most of the pathways and roads in that area have been washed out. So we are finding it difficult uh, to bring people who are there uh, to safety. The process is going on, though it's slightly slow. Uh, we expect some of the major uh, pathways and roads to be repaired uh, with the help of uh, the road building organization and BRO. Monsoon rains in the month of June have broken the 88-year-old record. But day two of no rains has helped speed up the relief work. Over 11.5 thousand stranded people have been shifted to safer places so far thanks to the combined efforts of the Army, ITBP and NDRF personnel. The local authorities are also working round the clock to provide assistance to the stranded people. Meanwhile, the Congress core group met in Delhi. Increased central assistance to ensure proper relief and rescue work has been promised. Food Minister K.V. Thomas has been asked to ensure steps to rush more food grains to flood hit Uttarakhand and other parts of the country. Temporary work being done by our paramilitary forces and army as well as our NRDF personnel is something that we should also look into at the moment. But uh, we will continue to uh, look forward and we will do whatever is possible to make sure whoever is stranded, wherever they are stranded and the army as well as the paramilitary forces are put pushing in all the people to rescue all the people who are stranded in difficult positions. Even as relief and rescue operations in flood hit Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh picked up after restoration of the communications network and use of over a dozen helicopters in far-flung areas, it may take another two to three days to trace and evacuate all tourists and pilgrims who have been stranded there. The absence of a warning system and an effective contingency plan is clear for all to see. The question remains, with monsoon havoc becoming an annual affair, why aren't the authorities getting their act together? With input from Sudhakar Das, Bureau Report, DD News.